station. Five people here. This is the Million March for Kids. We're going down the service road down by the Fairview Mall right now. And we're going to go up and, or sorry, under the Geneva Street overpass, down the other side, up to the DSBN. Been getting lots of support this morning, lots of people honking as we were standing at the four corners there at Lake Street. That was good. Lots and lots of support. Your anti protesters were there for a little bit this morning, but they wound up leaving. So they realized they weren't there for them, it wasn't about them at all in any way, shape, or form, so that's good. Some people had nice chats with them, so that was good, they were very open. So yeah, we're just marching around the block right now. It would have been nice to have more people, but we didn't get the word out in time. This wasn't even on our radar until about a week ago, so considering, I know, I'm not terribly saddened by the turnout, but it definitely could have been more if we had had more time and, you know, gotten the word out and got flyers out and all that, so, but. Hello, how 
are you? Driving. I'll walk with you. Okay. How are you? Uh, pretty good. I'm glad to see you out. Uh, but I tried and tried and tried to get information on whether there'd be a march this year. Yeah. And the only reason I knew you were here is because my wife drove by. Oh, wow. Okay. And it's like I reached out to people who were organizers last year. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. And the Million Person March website, nothing. Yeah, they didn't have anything on ours. But is the, there a the central... Handsoffourkids.ca. Yes. They, they had the poster, but they didn't put it up till like Wednesday. So, um, do you have one of our cards there? Uh, no, sure. Uh, Thank you. Go ahead. I, yeah, I have no, a card I, I can give you. Oh, yeah, if you've got a card, that would, I'd really appreciate um, it. If you look at sure. Niagara 10 4. Yeah, look Niagara. up Niagara Local 10 4. Dot com. And then join the Facebook group from that, and then you'll get all the information about these things. Niagara Local 10-4.com. I gotta get ahead there. Go ahead. Thank you. Sorry. and that's the thing when you start promoting late then you know it doesn't I mean the algorithms on Facebook calendar way ahead of time so if you're watching and you want to book the day for next year I think it's going to be on a Saturday next year I can find out find out in advance I'll talk to Kamel and see Passing us. <laughs> uh, I don't feel answered, Brian, or whatever, just to kind of stop under the bridge or so we can catch up. Okay. Hey, Rick. Hey, can you just maybe stop under the bridge and let these few people catch up at the oh. back? Thank you. We're just allowing them to catch up. Come to Run, I don't know. Leave us alone! Leave us alone! Leave the kids alone! Leave the kids alone! Leave the kids alone! And drop our kids! Let kids be kids! <laughs> out of schools. Yeah. Yeah, so as I said, we have about between 50 and 75 people marching right now. Last year we had closer to 12, 1300 people, but uh, when you can't get the word out in time, and I was away in Ottawa this week, so I wasn't able to hit the ground and hand out flyers and stuff. And
here on our crossing over going up the other side of the street there. Did they join us? <laughs> now they're marching with us? They're like, yeah, we'll march with you. Let's do this. Right on. Bunch of kids from Quebec. They're joining us. Yeah. They just asked us at the lake what this was all about and we Told them they're like, oh, let's join them, let's go. Huh. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, they can just for two seconds. Give me a show if you're now, online. Now we watching. gotta wait for you. <laughs> He's gotta get <laughs> back up to the front. <laughs> Traffic control. It's probably a little safer down this road anyway. Yeah. yeah. We don't have 1200 to block the road. No. Right, right. Are we hey. going into the school? Yeah, board? we'll go into the DSPN. Yeah. Folks, when you get to the DSPN, we'll turn right into their parking lot and go. Through. Up to the front, stand on the hill where we're visible. Huh? We'll stand on the hill where we're visible at the yeah. front. And then we can do like a little bit of talking, right? Yeah. yeah. The point is that we did it. Yeah. It happened. We had enough people to do a small march, which is good. Appreciate the people that turned up and. What's he doing? Where yeah, is he? Around. Oh, he turned around? Yeah. Hey, Kathy. Who else is on? John, Susan, Roy, Chris. Thanks for joining me. Next year we'll plan this well in advance and I'm going to find out if it's going to be on a Saturday next year, if it's going to be on a weekday when this ESPN.
happen. I think it was on the 21st last year. I don't know, it's the 20th. I'm going to look on the, do you have the poster from last year? Yeah, somewhere. Huh? Uh, yeah, it's on the 20th, and last year was Thursday, this year is Friday. Oh, okay. So the 20th should be Saturday next year. Yeah, they probably won't do it on a Saturday though, but, because the DSBN's closed, right? So. Yeah, but then you get a lot of parents. Yeah, that would make sense. You could still have a good presence down there, you know. Even at that corner, I mean, there's lots of space there for people to, you know, come bring their signs and so people know what it's all about. I mean, we got a bunch of signs out there today, which is good, but we'll come prepared better next year. This crept on us too quickly. Cap. We got about between 50 and 75 people that showed up and are marching right now. Um, David Spiker is here. Um, Peter Terrace is here. And then we got people from different communities here, which is great. People that travel a little further to come and join us, which is awesome. Hey, Tammy. Marching for the kids today. So we're just coming up on the back side of the DSBN or the front side, depending on who you talk to. But... <laughs> just hanging back four ways on making sure everybody's safe had a few police officers out but they're just letting us do our thing which is amazing no problems there we had some anti-protesters out there earlier but they wound up leaving so Lots of support, lots of honk, 
Lakes. We were out there at 9 o'clock this morning down at the corner of Lake and Dunlop, just in front of the Rexall, the old Rexall Center. ESPN now. Nobody really knows how many people are going to show up until it actually happens, so, you know. You know. It's funny because this, you know, some of the Muslim community members that are with us today said that they have WhatsApp community groups and that it went, the poster got sent to them, so... I'm not sure if they just didn't get enough notice or whatever, but next year we'll just make sure that we put it out there early enough. Because, I mean, we even had somebody come right at the onset and he's like, I wasn't sure if this was happening or not, so I came down here to check it out and see if anybody was here. And I'm going to go and share it out to everybody, so, yeah. Just needed more time, so we'll work on that for next year. Hi, Pirat, Evelyn, Tammy, hey. Tammy, I took a picture for you um, from my trip that goes with what you and I were talking about um, a little while back, so I'm going to send that to you. Don't let me forget. Jack. Okay, so we just did march down from the corner of Lake Street and Dunlop, down where the Esso and Old Bexel station is, and gone around the block past the Fairview, up Geneva, down the other side, and we're just ending up now at the DSBN building. Um,
Leave the kids alone! some sharing and stuff so we're gonna get set up for that and if you want just drive up to the front over there and then we'll wherever they're hanging out and I'll grab my speaker out. down now because the last people are out here I'm not gonna say the word online but you know they lock the doors I wonder why that's a little cray cray these scary people with the patriotic Canadian flag Second, I started wrong. Okay, yeah. Why don't we go over there? Uh, 